Hey guys, my name is Alicia, and if you didn't know, I sell secondhand clothing on the apps Depop and Poshmark, and every month I make a video about what I sold and how much money I made. So the reason I make these videos is kind of to give you guys an idea of what kind of things are selling right now and kind of give a, a realistic look into how much money you can actually make. So today we're going to be talking about what sold in July of 2021. So I'm not going to lie guys, this month in terms of how many sales I made hasn't been a great month. I made about 22 sales, so I would say it's about average, maybe a little bit below. Out of those 22 sales, I made 18 off of Poshmark, only three off of Depop, and one off of Instagram. So guys, this month for Depop has been super, super dry. I'm not sure exactly what is going on there because typically if you look at my past videos my sales are split pretty evenly between Poshmark and Depop so maybe we'll get into that a little bit later but let's get into what I sold first so the very first thing I sold this month was on Poshmark it was this bullhead black overall shorts these were just from my personal wardrobe and I kind of just like didn't really like the fit anymore so I decided to sell them so I ended up selling them for $25 and at the end of the day after all of Poshmark's fees and everything I ended up making $19.35. So that was actually a pretty decent profit, especially for just one item. And just a reminder, guys, I do have my own clothing pickup service, so I do get a lot of clothes pretty much free. So unless otherwise stated, just assume there's no initial cost to obtaining the clothing. If I did buy something from the thrift store, I'll definitely mention it. So next on Poshmark, I made a huge bundle of six items, which was really exciting. I ended up selling this waffle knit blue long sleeve top, this Billie Eilish black long sleeve, this Columbia tan jacket, this Vans striped rugby shirt, this four year strong banty, and these Adidas black tearaway pants. So huge bundle, I always love giving really good discounts on bundles. So I ended up selling all of those items for $75. So at the end of the day, I ended up making $58.05. So when you divide that amongst the six items, I made roughly about $10 each, which is always personally my goal. So that was really exciting and definitely really helped bring my numbers up this month. Without that, I feel like I would have been super, super low on my numbers. Then next on Poshmark, I actually made another bundle sale. I ended up selling this Brandy Melville burgundy tank, this Wilfred Free white plunge tank, and this pretty little thing nude crop top. So I ended up selling all of those for $30. And at the end of the day, I made $23.22. So definitely a little bit lower than my goal. But I think if I remember correctly, this person was kind of going back and forth with offers with me. And finally, you know, I figured I would accept the deal just because I had these items listed for a little bit and there wasn't a huge interest in them so I kind of wanted to get rid of them so I accepted that offer then next on Poshmark I sold another bundle so the month started off super strong with all these bundles that was really nice but I ended up selling this Northern Reflections red dicky and this Northern Reflections white dicky both brand new in the packaging so I ended up selling both of those for $12 and at the end of the day made $7.53 so definitely didn't meet my $10 mark for each item but because this was such a small item just like an accessory I was totally okay with letting those two go for that price then next on Poshmark I sold this mango striped blouse I ended up selling that for $13 and at the end of the day made $8.53 so once again didn't quite hit my target but when a good offer arises and there hasn't been much interest on an item that's kind of when I tend to accept lower offers and I'm okay with it to get rid of the item then finally we made our first Depop sale of the month <laughs> first out of three and I ended up selling these Wind River green cargo shorts that I actually picked up from the thrift store last summer wore them a couple times but then realized I didn't really love the fit of them so decided to sell them so somebody actually ended up asking for a deal so I ended up selling them for $33 plus $10 shipping. I did actually initially pay $15.80 when I purchased these at the thrift store, which was kind of expensive when you think about it. So at the end of the day, after all of the fees and all of that, I ended up making $6.62. So definitely not a great profit, but considering how like expensive it was initially and the fact that I was kind of just getting rid of these, my initial intention wasn't to sell them. I was happy with that. Then next on Poshmark, I ended up selling these Tom's Stucco Suede Booties. I I sold them for $20 and at the end of the day made $15.48 so I was super happy with that profit and I was kind of surprised these sold because there wasn't a huge interest on them so 
very happy with that. So the next on Depop, I actually sold this Spider-Man button up. Once again, somebody asked me for a deal and because they were located in Ontario, I believe, I could lower the price a little bit. So I actually ended up selling that for $15 plus $10 shipping. And at the end of the day, I made $9.60. So basically $10, which I was happy about. Then next on Poshmark, I sold this bundle. It was of this Stella Tweed dark floral dress and this garage colorful leaf pattern dress. Both of these items really had no interest on them. Like, I don't know if they were even getting any likes to be honest, so I was very surprised when I finally sold them. The person actually sent me an offer for $20. I thought that was totally fair. And at the end of the day, I made $15.48. So not a huge profit, but considering the fact that I was Honestly, probably gonna donate these items soon just because there's no interest. $15 is better than nothing. Then next on Poshmark, I sold this cost color block cardigan. This one was actually pretty cute and was getting a bit of attention on both Depop and Poshmark. So I wasn't surprised it sold. Maybe just surprised that it sold in the summer. So I ended up selling that for $31. And at the end of the day, I made $19.96. So very happy with that profit. Then next on Depop in the final Depop sale of the month, which is actually insane, were these patchwork overalls, which you might've seen me pick up in my latest thrift with me video. Not surprised that they sold so quickly just because they're really, really cool. Very unique and I had them listed at a pretty good price considering some people sell overalls for like $100. So I ended up selling those for $34.99 plus $10 shipping. I bought them at the pay by the pound store but because they were quite heavy I did actually end up paying about $8.09 for them so that definitely ate into my profits more than I thought. And at the end of the day, I made $16.97. So still a good profit and one that I'm happy with. I'm kind of just wondering if I probably could have sold them for a little bit more, but either way, I was happy with that. Then next on Poshmark and the last Poshmark sale was this red wool skirt. Now this skirt I have been selling for so long, like at least a year or so now. It is vintage, which is really cool, but it is quite a long skirt. And I think that's the reason why no one was really interested in it. I was actually planning on thrift flipping it and hemming it to be a little bit shorter, a little bit more in style, but it actually ended up selling by itself. So that sold for $15. And because this was actually my friend's item that I was helping her sell, we ended up splitting the profits and I ended up making $5.27. So not a huge profit. Profit, but like I said, the fact that I'm just trying to get rid of it at this point, I was actually pretty happy with $5. And then the very last item that I sold this month was actually through Instagram. So I haven't been making a ton of sales on Instagram, but when I do, I tend to make a lot more money because I don't have to pay any fees. And this was actually a custom order. So somebody wanted one of my cloud patchwork bucket hats, but with a black denim. And I actually ended up selling that custom order for $50. Shipping ended up being about 15. So at the end of the day, I ended up making $35 and 93 cents which i believe actually ended up being one of my highest profits of the month so guys that is everything i sold so now i'm gonna go ahead and add everything up and figure out how much money i actually made this month which i can already tell is not gonna be that much okay guys so the results are in this month i ended up making 241 dollars 99 so to be honest it was actually a lot more than I thought it was going to be considering I didn't sell as many items and a lot of them I was kind of selling for a lower price. But I think a lot of those bundles really came through and helped me reach that number. And I always like to calculate the average amount I made per item, which ended up being about $10.99. So not bad pretty much my target. Um, it's definitely been higher in the past, but I'm still pretty happy with that. So why was this month so slow? Could be a few reasons. One, we're kind of like right smack dab in the middle of the season. So people have already kind of shopped for summer and they're probably not gonna shop as much until, you know, fall starts to come around. The second reason I've kind of found is if you guys don't know, Poshmark has this new feature where you can do bulk actions, where you can actually bulk share all of your items. So it makes sharing a little bit more easy. You do have to go and individually click all the items you want to bulk share. I would say it probably saves me about half the amount of time to share my listings on Poshmark. So it's made things a lot easier. The only thing is I find that I'm not getting as many likes or interactions as I used to. And it could be because now they've made sharing maybe a little bit too easy. You know, the easier it is to share your listings means the more people are gonna end up doing it. And that is gonna be adding a lot more competition when people are searching for your item. And I know a lot of people were kind of um, a little disappointed when this feature came out because they kind of just want a one and done 
one button, click it, and it shares all your listings. But what you have to think about is that if they did do that, it would pretty much eliminate the whole purpose of sharing your listings because it would make it way too easy to the point where everyone would be doing it so often that you really wouldn't stand a chance for your listings to be found, in my opinion. This new feature on Poshmark could be a reason why I didn't make as many sales this month. But of course, the most obvious thing about this month was that Poshmark like tanked in sales. And I honestly don't really know why I can't really pinpoint anything specific. It seems like at this point, it's really hard to even show up in the search. And I feel like the only chance you have is if your item ends up on the kind of like made for you page that Depop makes for everyone. Otherwise, I feel like your item's just not gonna be found. So that's a little bit frustrating. Somebody actually messaged me on Depop saying, do you think Depop is dead? <laughs> Which I did not respond to because I know Depop can see all of our messages. But I don't know, there's something definitely up. Please guys, let me know if you experienced something similar this month with Depop. Like this has probably been the slowest month I've ever had on Depop, to be honest. And I thought maybe it was because I hadn't posted any new listings in a while. So like about halfway through the month, I went, I got some more inventory. I thought that would help, but it really didn't make much of a difference. So hopefully this is just a dry spell and it'll pick up again next month. I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much everything I had to talk about and like all the updates and everything. Once again, please let me know if, like, like you had a similar experience with Depop this month. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.